with your most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres. And finally, our first fall storm of the season is impacting our forecast today with a chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms in the valley through the morning and some lingering rain chances for tonight and also for the early part of the weekend before we start to dry out. Now, rainfall amounts in the valley will not amount to much. We're talking about around a tenth of an inch in a few locations. Those areas that do get rain in the high country, a little more promising for some precipitation, rain and snow potentially as well, with those levels dropping to about 6,500 feet, meaning the chance for accumulating snow is now in the forecast for areas in Flagstaff, forecasting one to two inches there. But in the higher terrain of the Kai that plateau, the Chuska Mountains and Defiance Plateau, we do have those winter weather advisories in effect today where snowfall totals could be anywhere from three to eight inches. Not only that, we have the concerns regarding the wind, which will cause blowing snow in some of these lo some of these locations with gusts anywhere from 40 to 55 miles per hour. So here's your planner for your Friday in the valley. No snow here, obviously, but temperatures will be on the cooler side, starting off in the upper 60s in the morning. And then as we dry out, the winds will start to pick up, being gusty throughout the afternoon with highs only in the upper 70s. Now, gusts in the Valley uh, could get up to about 35 miles per hour up in the high country, even stronger around 40 to 55. That's why we have numerous wind advisories across the state from Mojave County and the Parker Valley too, all the way to the Mogollon Rim and out to the White Mountains and in southeastern Arizona and parts of Gila County too, where the winds will be gusty and the potential for blowing dust is there in those dust prone areas too. But look at the highs today across the valley, well below average. We're going to be in the mid 70s for areas like Fountain Hills, Mesa, and Tempe, all at 77. Same in the West Valley. Uh, they were in Buckeye and Goodyear too. Mid 70s and surprise Peoria and Glendale as well. Northern Arizona also cooler today with that storm moving in. Highs in the 40s in Flagstaff and dropping throughout today. 60s in Gila County with 80s still in southeastern Arizona. That's because the cold front will not arrive there yet until later in the morning and across western parts of the state. Highs only in the mid to upper 70s. Futurecast is showing the reason why we are expecting the cooler air and that chance of rain and snow is due to the upper level low that will linger through about Saturday into early Sunday and then and high pressure will build starting next week, meaning another round of above average temperatures and potentially another round of triple digit heat. I thought we were done with it, but that may not be the case just yet. Here's your seven day forecast. Temperatures will stay in the 70s through at least tomorrow with lows in the 50s and 60s. We're back in the 80s by Sunday and Monday, then heating up much of next week.